not very often do we come together to celebrate um, the opening of a, of a wind farm. And um, in this instance, I'm not sure if everybody is aware, but this particular wind farm is the largest First Nation owned wind farm in Canada. Oh, this is immense. This is historical for our First Nation. It's the largest project uh, that we have ever encountered. And we see it as a positive thing. And, uh, and I think the bulk of our people feel the same way, uh, likewise. Well, th this particular project is really important uh, uh, to the region because it's, a, it's an economically depressed region. However, we know that this is more to generate revenue and to provide uh, power to uh, on Ontario's energy grid. That's an industry-leading partnership in the sense that we've been able to strike a commercial arrangement with the Batchewana First Nation to have them be a true 50% partner in that project. And so Batchewana has brought its own financial resources. But on top of that, they've also contributed all their cultural uh, and ecological knowledge to the project, which has made for a better, improved design project. Now, the revenues from that, the generation of that power are coming back to this area and in, 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 in for communities to really develop. And I'm very impressed with how that relationship has developed and I'm particularly interested on the willingness of the proponent, I call the steward of the land, if I would call, call Batchewana First Nation, how they were able to work together and learn together on, on how they made this project and proceed. I think that as they go forward, uh, there'll be many more economic uh, ventures and so building an economy for the community is huge, you know, and if they can help support that economy within their community, uh, uh, they can do a lot of things that, that you can't do with uh, funding and accountability that you have from federal and provincial governments. It's money that they will be able to use in the best way that they see as a community for, for the betterment of, of themselves and, and the people. It will help um, really provide prosperity and a future for um, you know, everyone in that nation for generations to come, not just the, the profit from the wind project as well, but employment through construction. Right now, or at points through the project, we've been up to 50% of the workers on the site um, being Batchewana First Nation or other First Nations in the area working on the, on the project. I think what, what Batchewana and uh, Blue Earth have done is they've, they've actually uh, set the standard in terms of how uh, free prime informed consent could occur. And uh, basically, uh, it, it's no longer a question of can it be done. Uh, it's been done. And uh, Blue Earth and Batchewana have, have clearly uh, uh, set the standard. Uh, they've created best practices. And, and I think what, what's also uh, interesting to note here is, is the Ontario government uh, uh, you know, put a, a number of different tools and mechanisms in place for strategic partnerships. And uh, uh, this partnership of Blue Earth and Batchewana uh, clearly uh, uh, took that opportunity and, and seized uh, the ability to take those tools and, and make a project of this magnitude work. So uh, clearly a, a huge uh, success today. Mm -hmm.